Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Gracias a Dios, bien, todo bien. Vaya. ¿Y de lluvias? De lluvias, más o menos cansadito, así. Ok. La lluvia estaba rica, pero a la vez da miedo salir porque se moja uno. Sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos a dar inicio a la clase del día de ahora. Eh, recuerden que para mañana tienen que terminar ya la unidad 3. Ya casi avanzamos, ¿verdad? Ya casi terminamos. Ok, let's start uh, today with uh, today's class. And this is going to be related to the simple past, I mean, the simple present, ok, uh, using the irregular verbs. Ok, irregular verbs. That's what we are going to do today, all right? And basically, this is going to be like a review because we are finishing the, mid, the midterm before we were completing some sentences using the simple present. But today, since we almost finished, we are going to pay close attention to the irregular verbs, which is something really important. Okay, now let's see. Uh, I'm going to write down some information here on the chat. And what you need to do is to guess, okay? To guess what? To guess the profession, okay? Uh, yesterday, we were completing some sentences using um, the professions and occupations as well. And after this, we're going to move to the simple present using the regular verbs, okay? This is going to be just a warm up, let's say. Uh, let's see. The question will be how do you call? Actually, we're going to use the simple present on this uh, warm up. We're going to try to use this type of question. How do you call a person that works in? And then you need to give the extra information. Like for example, how do you call the profession? Okay, so let's use that word. How do you call the, prof uh, the profession? Let's see, professional. Professional that works in Okay, and then we can say uh, the place, in or with. We're going to use those expressions. How do you call the professional? The professional that works in, okay? All right, or the works with. How do you call, let's see, Wilbur. This is going to be the question. How do you call the professional that works with um, engineers? How do you call the professional that works with engineers? Mm -hmm. uh, exciting? Mm -hmm. No. You are no. giving me you are giving me adjectives. The professional who works, okay, who works with engineers, with engineers is called, let's say, an architect, or let's say, architect. The professional who works with engineers, okay, or with an engineer is called architect. You can say that. Is it clear? How do you call the professional that or who works in a hospital or in a hospital, Catherine? 
how do you call a professional that works in a hospital? There are two professionals actually. But the most common ones. Maybe the professionals are doctors and nurse. Who works, okay, in uh, a hospital. They work, they work with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, the second expression will be the professional who works in a hospital is called, and then you can say the, the, the profession, okay? The question goes to Consuelo del Rosario. How do you call uh, the professional the professional that works with students. Or how do you call the professional who works with students? No, teacher, no, no sé cómo contestar, please. It's okay. Uh, Catherine, how do you call the professional who works with students. Okay, the professional who works in, in the student is called with, professor or, te or teacher. With students. What's the difference between professor and teacher? Uh, professor is that when they teach in a university mm -hmm. and a teacher is a maybe basic Okay, in in private schools, okay. Yeah, All right, private school. or a uh, national schools. Not basic because uh, we can teach uh, to <laughs> children, work. to teenagers, to uh, let's say high school, okay? But that's the difference. Thanks. That's the difference. Teacher that works in private schools or national schools and professor is a person that works in the university. Okay. Catedrático. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Now, uh, let's listen to Consuelo. How do you call the, the professional that works with I mean, let's see, the works with, or uh -huh, with the teeth. How do you call the professional that works with teeth or that fixes teeth? How do you call the professional that fixes teeth? The professional that fixes teeth. Uh -huh. The professional mm -hmm. doctor that fixes teeth is called is, is called doctor dentist dentista dentist. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Julio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. I am fine. That's great. And you? I'm great. I, I'm great. Okay. Yeah, I'm great. Thanks for asking. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Jenny, Jasmine, how do you call the professional that uh, fixes cars? Buenas noches, teacher. Good, Good evening. Um, cool. Um, cars, this conductor. Mm -hmm. No, driver is conductor. Cars, when you drive a car, how do you call 
the job that Tax. or the person who fixes cars. Tax. No. Bus. How do you call? How do you call a person or yeah, a person that fixes car? If you see the chat, you can see that information. How do you call a person that fixes car? Julio? How do you call a person that fixes car? Cars. Mecha mechanic? It is, I mean, the person is called mechanic. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it complete. Yeah, yeah. the person. The car uh, is mechanic. The person who fixes uh, yeah, the car yeah, is called mechanic. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So question for Wilbert. How do you call the professional who works with judges. Do you know what the meaning of judges? Judges. Mm -hmm. okay. How do you call a professional that works with judges? Um, the uh, Teacher, no tengo muy claro qué significa lo último. Judges, what's the meaning of judges, guys? Si no están usando el micrófono, pueden eh, desactivarlo. Judges, jueces. Ahorita ha salido, pero cuando venga le digo yo que me llamo. Está bien. Wilbur, judges, jueces. Okay. The, the professional mm -hmm. um, that works with judges. The work the work is judges. Mm -hmm. How do you call a professional that works with judges? Okay. How do you call? Hmm. I don't know, teacher. Mm -hmm. Julio, how do you call a professional that works with judges? Um, joke, quest, quest. Mm -hmm. Para que estaba notando la. La respuesta. The person who fixes the motoria. La regla que. Ahí me quedé. A person that works with judges, how do you call a professional that works with judges? Está algo complicada esta, pero eh, mm -hmm. the person who work fixes works. Gauge. Call, call is called judges. Judges. Jueces. Judges. Okay. Judges. Judges. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Ay. Uh -huh. No, no, me doy, me doy. No sé okay. cómo armar. Okay, let's see. Catherine, how do you call a person that works with judges? Well, I think that 
the in this case um work a lot of people for example um in the judges work with a lawyer with Ex a secretary Calling. or police mm -hmm. and security but i don't know exactly the answer actually you answer my question so the person that works with judges is called lawyer the lawyer okay the lawyers they are like the closed ones they work together like the engineers and the architects they work together mm -hmm. all right like it's like the example of doctors and and nurses mm -hmm. okay now let's see let's continue guessing uh, Catherine, select one of your classmates and ask a question like that. How do you call a person that or who? Okay, and Nidia, uh, mm -hmm. how do you call the professional that works in the driving? What? What do you say? Driving. Oh, Driving. how do you call? How do you call the the person who works? Driving. Driving. Mm -hmm. How do you call the person that works driving? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the professional who works with driver is called a biker. What? No. The person who works driving is called a driver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Nidia, select one of your classmates. Ask a question. Tomen en cuenta que una cosa es que sea profesional um, y otra cosa es que sea su ocupación. Un driver es una ocupación, no es su profesión. Um, profesión es cuando usted estudia okay. y tiene un título. Jamie. Ok. Jamie Navidad. Uh -huh. How do you call the professional that work in the hospital? Esa es la pregunta. Uh, let's make a different one. Haga una pregunta diferente. Use sus ideas. Ya habían hecho esa. Es que entré un poquito tarde. Ah, sí, <laughs> yo la hice. Uh, bueno. How do you call the professional that work in the... In the... Ay, permítame. In the office. In the office. Uh -huh. And who are you asking to? ¿A quién le está preguntando? Jamie Navidad. Uh -huh. Jamie. How do you call a person that works in an office? Or how do you call the person that works in an office? Uh-huh. Jamie, are you here? Okay, select another person, Iria. No. Mm. Azucena? How do you call the professional that work in the office?
Azucena, are you here? Okay, ask the question to Julio. Okay, Julio. Julio? Mm -hmm. Okay, see. How do you call the professional that work in the office? The person who fixes, no, fixes not. The person who work in the office may be a contact, secretary. Okay. It's an accountant, okay. You can also say it's secretary. Thank uh, you. Manager. Okay, a manager too. Thank you. Thank you guys okay. for your participation. Now let me go ahead and uh, share the computer screen because remember that we need to complete the platform by tomorrow uh, before midnight. Okay, so advantage of the time. Let's see, uh, Nidia, can you please read? Actually, it says select the correct option. Instruction, select the correct word for each sentence. Nidia, complete the number one, please. A nurse works in the hospital. A nurse works in, the, in a hospital. Thank Hospital. you. Yes. Let's see. For the number two, I need a volunteer. Who is ready? Volunteers are allowed. Julio, thank you. And then Consuelo. Number two. Correct. Um, a receptionist talk to people at hotel. A receptionist talks to people at a hotel. Uh, at a hotel, yes. Yes, thank you. Consuelo, number three. Uh, home is still all day. One more time. And uh, who? Mm -hmm. all day. A judge sits all day. A judge. Aye, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's send the, the answers. Hey, you got 10. 15 out of 15. That's great. All right. Let's move forward the next exercise. Let's see. On the next exercise, it says, Select questions to complete the conversation. Instructions, select questions to complete conver the conversations. Look at the example. For example, what do they do? And letter B, they are nurses. Okay, so who is ready for the number one? Volunteers are allowed. Yes, Julio. Julio. Excuse me, where do you work? Thank you. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Thank you. Next, number two, another volunteer. Catherine. Okay, um, uh, what does he do? He's what, a firefighter. What does he do? He's a firefighter. And the last one, who's ready? Oh, Jenny. What does he do? No. Number three. Perdón, perdón. How do they like their house? They hate their jobs. How do they like their jobs? They hate their jobs. 
Okay. Yay, you got 100. Excellent. And let's complete the last part, which is part of the mid term. Okay. Julio, read the instructions, please. Complete the conversation, select the verb be, verb be or have in the edge case. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, volunteers with the number one. Uh huh. Consuelo. A uh, senior has a city, Joe. Okay. Has an city song. A singer has a an singer exciting job. Has an exciting job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number, I mean, letter B. Who's ready? Catherine. Okay, I disagree. I think singer's job is boring. Thank you. Okay, continue. Next conversation. Who's ready? Any other a one? Fly, mm -hmm. a, a fly attend, attendant has a stressful job. Has a stressful job, yes. A. Continue. Who is ready for the next one? Jenny. I agree it is stressful. I agree it is stressful. Thank you. Next, who can continue with the next uh, sentence? Other volunteers? Uh huh. Nidia. And then Catherine. A cashier job. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Are you sure? I would say it's not easy. Catherine? Okay, uh, I disagree. A cashier has a difficult job. Ah, okay, one is saying a cashier job is easy and uh, let it be disagree. Okay, thank you. I disagree. No. A cashier. Eh, excuse me. Has a difficult job. Uh -huh. Creo que me tocaba a little bit. Uh, oh, well, no puedo ver bien. ¿Era esa la que respondí? Yeah. Uh, sí, bueno, gracias. Let's check the answer. Yeah, you have 100. Great. Okay, guys. With this part, we finish the midterm. Okay, and it's up to you to complete it in your house, in your computer, or using your mobile phone. Okay. The next Saturday, we're going to start with the section four. Okay with the session four. Okay, or unit four, if, unit uh, four, if you wish to say that. All right, now, since we have finished with the platform, I'm going to uh, stop here with that presentation, but I want you to uh, complete some sentences using the uh, irregular verbs. We're going to practice the irregular verbs and then we're going to complete some sentences using the simple past and the irregular verbs. Let me go ahead and send you the screenshot and you will be able to see it on the uh, Zoom chat. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. 
I believe it's Lauren, by the way. I think it's Lauren. Okay. I sent it to the uh, Zoom chat. If you can share with the rest of the class, that would be great. Let me also take a, a, take a picture for some of you who don't have access to the, a, to the Zoom chat. You will be able to see it using the WhatsApp app. Let's see. Let's see if I can take the picture correctly. Okay. There you go. You had the picture on the WhatsApp group. And you also had the picture on the uh, Zoom's chat. And now let me go ahead and send you another picture related to the simple present. Okay, there you have the second picture that I sent you on the uh, on the on the WhatsApp's uh, group. And you also have it on that Zoom chat. Okay, now let's practice the regular verbs, guys. Let's move to the first list or the first part, okay? And I want you to repeat it. I'm going to ask you, some of you, to listen and repeat uh, the first part. And I'm going to say to stop, and then somebody else is going to continue. Just the person I mentioned is going to have the microphone on, okay? I'm going to start with Wilbur, part number one. Do you have the picture on the WhatsApp group? Wilbur? Sí, <clears throat> teacher. Okay, English. So irregular verbs, part one. Listen and repeat. Have and the rest of you guys, you can repeat in your mind. Bueno, eh, you can repeat it. Pueden repetirlo, pero con el micrófono desactivado, okay? Just the person, solo la persona que está participando, la que, tiene, la que va a repetir conmigo. Just the person that has the microphone on, okay? Ready, Wilbur? Ready. Okay, the first one. Have, has, had, had. How, has, had, had. Say, says, said, said. Say, says, say, said. No, say, says, said, said. Say, says, say, said. Said, said. Said, said. Do, does, did, done. Do, does, did, done. Si, so, sin. Si, so, sin. Make, made, made. Make, made, made. Find, found, found. Find, found, found. Thank you, Wilbur. Catherine, continue. No, new, none. Okay, no, new, no. Get, got, gotten. Get, got, gotten. El resto no veo moviendo los labios. Así que no están repitiendo. Okay. Uh, continue, Catherine. Go, went, gone. Go, went, gone. Write, wrote, written. Write, wrote, written. Think, thought, thought. Think, thought, thought. Okay. Come, came, come. Come, came, come. Thank you. Part number 
two. I'm going to select Nidia. Thank you, Catherine. Ready, Nidia? Yes. Okay, take, took, taken. Take, took, taken. Put, put, put. Put, put, put. Tell, told, told. Tell, told, told. Give, gave, given. He gave, given. Read, read, read. Read, read, read. Keep, kept, kept. Keep, kept, kept. Begin, began, begun. Begin, began, become. Thank you, Nidia. Consuelo. You're welcome. Let, let, let. Let, let, let. Hear, heard, heard. Hear, 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 hear. Yes. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Eat, ate, eaten. Eat, ate, eaten. Run, ran, run. Run, ran, run. Bring, brought, brought. Bring, brought, brought. Thank you, Consuelo. Yarixa, ready? Yes. Ok, thank you. Mantengan las cámaras encendidas, chicos. Porque las grabaciones se mandan en Safor y están viendo quiénes están conectados, quiénes tienen las cámaras encendidas y quiénes no. Ok. Eh, Yarixa, feel, felt, felt. Feel, felt, felt. Hold, held, held. Hold, held, held. Stand, stood, stood. Stand, stood, stood. Understand, understood, understood. Understand, understood, understood. Lose, lost, lost. Lost, lose, lost, lost. Okay. Catch, caught, caught. Catch, caught, caught. Buy, bought, bought. Buy, both, bought. Send, sent, sent. Send, sent, sent. Fall, fell, fallen. Fall, fell, falling. Thank you. Julio, next. Okay. Choose, chose, chosen. Choose, chose, chosen. Sleep, slept, slept. Sleep, slept, slept. Speak, sleep, spoke, slept. spoken. Speak, spoke, spoken. Sit, sat, sat. Meet, sat, sat. No, sit, sat, no. sat. Meet, sat, sat. Okay. Sat, sat. Let's see. Speak, spoke, spoken. Meet, met, met. Meet, met, met. Okay. Lead, led, led. Lead, led, led. Bite, beat, beaten. Bite, beat, beaten. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Drive, drove, driven. Drive, drove, driven. Break, broke, broken. Break, broke, broken. Yes. Thank you. Uh, next, Lizeth Alvarado. Sit, sat, sat. Sit, sat, sat. Spent, spent, spent. Spent, spent, spent. Ring, rang, rung. Ring, rang, rung. Wear, war, worn. Wear, war, worn. Sell, sold, sold. Sell, sold, sold. Beat, beat, bitten. Beat, beat, bitten. Win, won, won. 
Swing one one. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Sing, sang, song. Sing, sang, song. Blow, blue, blown. Blow, blue, blown. Rise, rose, risen. Rise, rose, risen. Thank you. Jenny, continue. Okay. Fly, flew, flung. Fly, flew, flown. Okay. Drink, drank, drunk. Drink, drank, drunk. Okay. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Throw through throng. Thrown through throng. Hang hung hung. Hang hung hung. Excellent. Great job. And applause for everybody. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, let me just check something. Okay. No me puedo conectar, dice Alvarenga. Ok. No me puedo conectar, me estará fallando la señal. Ok. All right. What I want you to do, guys, is to type some sentences or let's do something. Let's start by saying some sentences using the regular verbs. Okay, what's going to be our formula? The formula is going to be subject plus verb or irregular verb. Okay. Irregular verb or let's say verb plus a present time expressions. Do you remember the present time expressions? Present yeah. time expressions. Give me some examples. I work today. Today, uh-huh. Right now. Every, right now, every day, every, every month. Day, every month. At this moment. Every day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. And the complement. That's the, that's the structure. Subject plus verb plus present time expression and complement. Okay. I work every day at work. I mean, in the office. Okay. Let me let me write it again. Let's see. Subject plus verb plus. Let's see. Yes. Mm. Okay. Plus verb, plus complement, plus present time expression. Okay, who's ready? Uh huh. Most of the times, uh, time expressions are at the end of the sentence. And keep in mind that we have, we also have 
the uh, adverse of frequency. All right, uh, who's ready for the first sentence? Let's listen to Catherine. First sentence using that structure. Subject plus per plus complement and present time expressions. Okay, um, the liar works every day in your office. Okay, the lawyer works in the office every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Okay, another example, Julio. Let me see. We eat every day in, with my family. Okay, we eat with my family every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Time expressions are most of the times at the end. That's the reason why I wrote it down at the end. Okay, uh, let's listen to Jenny Yasmin. A ver si he comprendido bien. Uh, the doctor. Uh, the doctor. Uh, were in the hospital. Okay, the doctor works in the hospital from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Jarixa. Continue with your sentence. Okay, uh, I run, I run in the morning every day. Okay, I were, I mean, I run every, one more time, I'm sorry. I run every day mm -hmm. at morning or in the morning? In the morning. In the morning, okay. Mm Okay. Teacher. Esta tormenta varios han enfermado, algunos no, hay, no se van a conectar. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, Podría hacer este ejemplo, como decir, I study English or now. I'm sorry. Uh, este ejemplo de decir, I study English or now. I study English at this mm -hmm. moment. I study English. Ah, at this moment. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's listen to Julio. But what I want you to do, guys, study is okay, but that's regular verb. I want you to use irregular. <laughs> like Yarixa, Yarixa used an irregular verb. Run is irregular. Actually, run, run, run. Yeah. Run, that's the simple present of the verb. I want you to use irregular verbs. All right, Wilbur, your example, please. <laughs> Using irregular. Um, I, want, mm -hmm. I want to eat right now. I want to eat okay right now excellent great job yeah you are using a regular verb 
Uh -huh. Another example, more examples. Julio. I, I get up every day at seven o'clock. I get up at seven. I mean, let's see. I get up every day. Okay. I get up every day at seven o'clock. Great. Nidia. I teacher. What? Yeah. In example, I work in in the morning, every day. I work every day in the morning. And I, I work every you. day in the morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, but that's regular. Quiero que hagan uso de los irregulares porque esos son los más difíciles. Catherine. Okay, and I take the bus. Every day at seven o'clock. Okay, I take the bus every day at seven o'clock. Thank you. Uh huh. You're the last welcome. example. Who's ready for the last example? Any other one? Any other volunteer for the last example? Uh, yes, Consuelo. Mm -hmm. He reads a book every day. He reads a book every day. Thank you. I want to share with you something before letting you go. And that's basically the adverse of frequency. Adverse of frequency. Adverse of frequency are really important. Why? Because it, it express how often we do something. For example, we have adverse of frequency and it says an adverse of frequency tell us how often something takes place or how often something happens. Let me go ahead and uh, share with you this information. I just want to close this up. Okay, if you see adverse of frequency, if you see here, you have the first one, which is 100% sure is going to happen or 100% sure happens, like always. For example, you can say, I always practice my English. Look at this. I always get up at six o'clock. All right. This is 100% always. Or if you want to say every day. You also have 90% that you can use or you can use usually in the percentage of 90%. So the example. I usually come home after work. The next one, 80%. With 80%, you can use normally or generally. Okay. The example, I normally or I generally swim after school. The next one. With 70%, you can use often or frequently. With those adverse of frequency, you have this example. I frequently or I often spend Christmas with my friends. If you see, most of the times, adverse of frequency, they come at the beginning of the sentence. 
Okay. You have 50%. With 50%, you can use the adverb of frequency, which is sometimes. And example, I sometimes play tennis on weekend. Okay. With 30%, you can use occasionally. Okay. And the example will be, I occasionally eat Vietnamese food, occasionally. You have 10% and 10% can be used with seldom or seldom can be used in that percentage. For example, I seldom go to the library. Okay, you also have 5% that you can use with rarely or rarely can be used with a percentage of 5%. Example, I rarely listen to the radio and you have 0%, 0%. and 0% is just with never or never has the percentage of 0%. Example, I never listen to rock music. If you don't like something, you can say, I never. Questions? Or is that clear? I have a question. Mm -hmm. yes. What is the meaning of seldom? Seldom. Let's see. I seldom go to the library. It's like a once in a while, if you want to say that. Once in a while. Okay, thank you. Any other question? You're welcome. Any other question with the adverse of frequency? Seldom, no. once in a while, or rara vez. Rara vez. Okay. So, if you don't have any question, let's continue with the regular verbs. And this time, I want you to write the sentences. Okay? Remember, keep in mind the structure, subject, plus verb, plus complement, and present time expressions. Okay, go ahead, please. Write them down on the, on the chat, on the Zoom chat. You can use Zoom to write the sentences down. Okay, let's use it. Uh huh. I have a question. Teacher. Yes. Uh huh. Can I change the structure with the sentence? Because uh, uh, is a change the the structure. It's okay. For example, for example, is sometimes I feel sad. Mm -hmm. It changed the structure because the present time is the start and the and the subject and the last is is the complement. Is correct. One more time. Okay, and the example is sometimes I feel sad. Okay, I sometimes feel sad. So in that case, you're going to write down subject plus adverb of frequency. I sometimes 
feel, verb, complement, and present time expression. Present time expression. Okay, thanks. Okay. So there you have subject plus adverb plus verb plus complement plus present time expression. I sometimes feel sad, okay, at night. I sometimes feel sad at night. Maybe you miss somebody, okay? I always walk to my job in the morning, you can say, present time expression. Uh-huh. Next. Thank you, Yarixa. Lizeth says, I rarely visit my family. Ya somos dos. Lizeth. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. Yarixa, I always walk to my job every morning. Excellent. Uh huh. Give me more examples. We go to we go to the movie theater. Mm -hmm. um, we sometimes go to the movie theater on weekend. On weekends, okay. I never go to the church on weekend. Okay, guys, we're going to stop here with this class, okay? And if you have not eaten anything, enjoy your dinner and see you on Monday. Recuerden que hay que completar la eh, plataforma para mañana antes de la medianoche. Ya les ayudé, lo hemos completado en grupo, entre todos. Y ahora les toca a ustedes solitos. Ok. See you on Monday. Okay. Good night. See you on Monday. Good night. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Take care. See you on Monday. You too. Have a nice weekend. Bye.